Compressive Epsilon Photography is a framework which enables post-capture control of a camera's aperture and focus settings. The Epsilon Photography stack is the space of images formed by taking pictures of a scene with all possible camera parameter combinations. Exhaustively sampling this space is impractical given that a camera can have well over 1,000 parameter combinations. Instead, we show that the images in this space can be reconstructed from just a handful of photographs with carefully selected setting combinations. This means that the user can arbitrarily change the aperture and focus settings after taking this subset of images. To understand why, consider how the intensity at a pixel changes with respect to where the camera is focused. This is shown for a subset of pixels on the right. Note the structure. Peaks or valleys appear in these profiles when their respective pixels come into focus. We perform k-means clustering with 50 clusters on the normalized intensity profiles for many such pixels. What results are indeed very tight clusters, confirming the structure present. Representing the intensity profiles as low-dimensional projections around these cluster centers results in very good approximations. Varying the camera's aperture and focus together yields aperture focus images which also exhibit similar structure and can be efficiently clustered. For the final algorithm, we use a more general per pixel Gaussian mixture model to capture the redundancies present. This allows us to greedily choose images that minimize reconstruction error, meaning we can learn which key images best represent the entire Epsilon photography stack. Our greedy image acquisition algorithm, shown in blue here, outperforms other uniform or random sampling strategies. What follows are some results demonstrating compressive epsilon photography. First, we vary only the focus of the camera. Here we capture eight input images at different focus settings, then reconstruct a 45 image focus stack. Notice that in the outset highlight of the palm tree, the focus changes from the front to the rear. This change is clearly captured in the reconstructed stack. Also, intermediate leaves are brought into focus. Next, we explore varying both focus and aperture. Using only the 16 input images highlighted, we reconstruct the entire Epsilon photography stack as it varies with focus and aperture settings. This corresponds to over 1,000 images. We now show subsets of the reconstructed space. First, we vary the focus using a fixed aperture. Notice the change in blur as the focus is varied from near plane to far plane and back. Next, we vary the aperture at a fixed focus. The plane of focus is fixed on Tigger in the middle of the scene. An interactive GUI allows for exploration of the reconstructed Epsilon photography stack for different scenes. Again, only 16 input images of each scene were used. The user can choose the plane of focus by directly clicking on the point of interest. The size of the aperture may be varied using a slider. Here we show results for another reconstructed Epsilon photography stack. Finally, we conducted a subjective evaluation to test the performance of our algorithm. Test subjects were presented with two images and were asked which image, if either, was perceptually better. In over two-thirds of the cases, respondents either couldn't tell the difference between ground truth and reconstruction, or actually preferred the reconstructed images. In summary, compressive epsilon photography exploits the inherent redundancy manifest when varying camera parameters. By modeling and taking advantage of this, it enables unprecedented post-capture control of camera focus and aperture settings. Please refer to our paper for further details.